Hi everyone, this is Master Sam M1, and today we are doing a review of David Section Mason from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So he is part of the Black Ops unit, and let's get into this review. So here is the figure. So first of all, I'll take away his MP7. So as you can see here, this is a Combat Brick MP7. I bought it off Brick Republic as it is the main Lego gun seller for Canada. So I did a bit of dark brown dry brushing all over it to give it the look that the MP7 has for the main MP7 model in Black Ops 3. Then I also did the light uh, beige or tan again to replicate the MP7 and I did some gray on the EOTech and some lighter gray on the flash hider and the laser and then I painted the little um, movable foregrip or um, in dark gray. So then we can also look at his combat knife. So again, this is from Combat Brick, or actually it might be from Sidan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Sidan. But I painted the blade in silver paint. I just did that all around the blade, and then the rest of it is just left black. I did that because on his leg, um, I'll just put his arms up, on his leg he has a little knife holster, so I figured that I'd make him a little knife since he has that. So now that we can look at the figure himself, we can see I painted this camo design all around the figure in the light gray, grayish green, and dark brown. So then, also, on each leg, he has a um, holster mount. I, he only has a holster with a pistol in it on one leg. Of course, this isn't one of the holsters that I usually make where the pistol can come out. This is just made out of clay, and then I made a clay pistol to go inside of it too. So, of course, yeah, you can't take the pistol out now. But I did some detailing with the black on each of them as you can also see behind the pistol. But then, on each leg I did this black design around the knee pads, just to replicate his character model. And then I painted the shoes and the um, knee pads in the same gray color. Then also, here's the aforementioned um, knife holster. It's just all black, and I just crazy glued it onto his lower leg. Then around his midsection he has two shotgun shells on each side. Um, then he also has this kind of groin protection piece which I made out of clay and then I did some black detailing over the gray bits. I also did some little pouches all around his belt out of clay and then also on the back of his plate carrier, he has a pouch and this little um, just flat part, which I just saw from his character model, so I did all that out of clay. And yeah, of course, everything that I do that's molded is always out of clay, but yeah. So then, the front of his plate carrier, it's a normal Megablox plate carrier, except I sanded down the edges here to make a bit of a curve, and... Then also, I painted the tops, or the top straps in all black. And then I did the little Black Ops logo right there in the front in the black and blue. Then I also did his rows of shotgun shells that are on the front. And I did this little pistol mag that's right there. I just painted that. And that is from one of the leg, or from one of the Mega Constructs. Um, leg bracket pieces which have the pistol mags on it so I cut that off and crazy glued it on. Then of course this also has the sides or the front and back of a Mega Bloks chest rig which then I cut off and crazy glued to the sides to then make the side parts of his pl play carrier. Then he also I painted he also has his combat shirt which, which I painted on I did the camo on top and then the black on the bottom and around the edge of the sleeves. 
And then the head is completely painted and the hair is molded by me. It's one of the Mega Bloks Assassin's Creed heads, which then I painted the black um, and the white of his eyes. I repainted the eyebrows and I did his stubble beard. And then completely out of clay, I did his hairstyle, did the little waves up front, and then I did some detailing with the knife just in the back and all throughout. But that is pretty much it for this figure. I also want to say thank you to J Chief um, for giving me the idea to make this figure. And now we can go on and finish up this review. So that is pretty much it for my review of my custom David Mason figure from Black Ops 2, of course. So please like and subscribe. Click here to subscribe and click here to see all of my other um, Call of Duty videos. And I will see you in the next video. Master Iron Sandman 1, out.